Home automation is a big term. When I used to hear it, I used to think about these complicated systems with a guy holding a glass-only phone controlling everything in his house. From air conditioners, to window curtains, to even water heaters. I used to think, wow, this thing is very complicated, until I dug into it myself and discovered it's not really that complicated to do. So in this video series, we're going to convert a normal home into a smart one for cheap and without too much complications. We're not gonna be creating our own circuit boards. That's way too low level for my taste. We're going to be using ready-made circuit boards with the components that I want and I want to use services that I personally trust giving them my data, whatever said data might be. So what I chose for this project is a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. That's the 4GB model because I plan to use it for some stuff other than this project. I also chose a 4 channel relay board, some LEDs and a breadboard to connect everything together without soldering. This project is going to be split into multiple sections and each section might be one video or multiple. So if you want to keep track of the progress of these videos, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification whenever I post a new video. The project will essentially be split into three main parts. The basic idea behind everything. This will include the general idea of how I connected everything together without going through much details. The hardware guide and in this section we'll go in depth through each and every hardware part I used in this project and how I handled and worked around some of the problems I had with every component and the software guide. This section will include in-depth tutorials along with examples so you can create your own DIY home automation system for yourself. And as a matter of fact, this video that you're watching right now is a section in and of itself. And it's the requirements for you to kickstart this whole project. Don't worry, if you miss some expertise, or some of the requirements, I made it as simple as possible so you can work around missing some of these requirements I will mention right now. What you need for this is the following. A Raspberry Pi. I used a Raspberry Pi 4, but you can also use a 3. Some female to female jumper cables. Some female to male jumper cables. A breadboard to hold everything together. A relay. I used a 4 channel relay for this project. Some knowledge on how to set up Raspbian OS on the Raspberry Pi, but don't worry, we'll walk you through this. A bit of Python code knowledge, but not a lot. You don't have to be a coder to apply this project in your home. And lastly, patience and caution, because you're working with 220 volt electricity, and that might lead to injuries. Now I understand that not everybody knows about all the stuff I mentioned, or even has them, but don't worry, we're going to walk you all through it in this video series. For example, you might not know how Python programming works, or you might have never set up a Raspberry Pi, and to be frank, I didn't know some of the requirements I mentioned here either, but I learned as I went. The outcome of this project is pretty cool. I have it as a prototype right now, I'm just turning a normal room lamp at 220 volts. This is just a proof of concept that I can turn a 220 volt device on and off. I can replace this lamp with an air conditioner for example and it will be the same outcome. Now as I go on and keep updating this project I realize that these videos might become obsolete pretty quickly. But the idea behind these videos will stay the same. I'm not teaching you to apply whatever I applied specifically to your case. We're just learning the logic behind everything. So you can apply it on your own. Oh, and I forgot one last thing. The name of the project, which is also available on GitHub, AutoHome.